I am Vijay, Vijay Ashokan. I started my career as a cartoonist. VE Studio was the name of the company which I run. This company uh, is a seven years old company and this is basically into content creation. And uh, we do films, we do animations, we do cartoons and comics and stuff and all. And uh, we had been doing this for a lot of corporate companies as well. You know, independent uh, commercials we have done, uh, a lot of spec commercials we have done. And uh, we are also into movie industry. When I was 19 years old, I published a book, a comic book. It's published by Emerald Publishers and uh, it went great. Then I did work in a lot of magazines. My cartoons and my editorial comics got published in a lot of magazines. Like Con Chronicle, it came in Times, a lot of magazines. But for some reason I thought uh, I can do something more than what, what, what I'm doing at that time. Majority of your life you're going to be working only. So why don't you make the work that you're going to be enjoying and doing. So I just thought okay let's try into getting into filmmaking and I was working as an assistant for some years. And uh, for some reason I don't really find there is a drastic difference between animation and live action. So that's how the live action thing happened later for me. And then I just thought I'll, I need to monetize it. Any businessman would, would try to monetize his talent, right? So we need to have a company. And then that's when we started this company. So when you start as an artist, how you convert your talent into something that could make money is very important. Uh, when you see South Indian film industry, when you wanted to produce a movie and direct it or whatever, you need to have a clarity. If you do a movie with a new actor, outshow your filmmaking abilities. If that is going to be your main priority, you can go for it. If you want to make business out of it, you want to make money out of it, go behind an actor who has got good market value and try to get his dates. Only then you'll be able to sell your film and market it in a better way. That's how the entire Indian industry is working. When it comes to animation, you know, animation industry in India is not really great. A lot of finest animators that is working in uh, Pixar, Disney, most of them are Indians. India has got greatest visual thinkers actually. But Indian industry as a separate Indian animation company that could really come up to a, to a standard of Disney or anything like that. The reason is budget. Visual effects industry in India is doing very good. A lot of Hollywood companies, they outsource their uh, visual effects work to Indian uh, companies and that is going good. But coming to individual animation content producer, uh, the players are very less. And also the market is very less. But if you could manage to do a content and uh, distribute it worldwide, I think it's going to be a phenom phenomenal return for the producer. The animation content has got, has, has got huge potential towards the Middle East market, a Japanese market and a lot of kids content if you, when you produce. That is going to be a definite returns on it, but you should know the business out of it. More than everything else, the content that you produce is very important. Your, your content should have this creativity, a content that could obtain you good funds and good revenue in future. To get into the animation industry, of course, creativity is very important, okay? If you're thinking learning an animation software or something will make you an animator, then you're making a mistake. There are a lot of animation softwares out there to actually do the animation. But how you do the animation, that comes only out of tremendous passion and uh, only when you uh, watch a lot of animation films, when you, when you think about animation, only when you have some kind of a visual knowledge about the emotion, the visual thought is very important. A lot of youngsters, they think learning a software will make them an animator. No. Becoming an animator is not just software alone. Initially, when Walt Disney started his animation, he was doing with light box. No software, no computer, nothing. Just light box. Light box is a device in which you light it up and you just take a paper and sketch it and trace it, trace it, trace it. The softwares are like, you know, the market to actually make your animation job simpler. You know, the, the character, how it looks, how it talks, how it moves and all these things are uh, having tremendous impact towards the you know, animation fan. There is no really a big course. You can start learning animation from your home also. The mandatory talent one should be possessing to become an animator is sketching, drawing doodles and they should know basic arithmetic and mathematics and basic how, how things happen, how, how things juxtapose various layers into motion and how to create an interesting uh, visual image. That is very important. Any business requires investment, okay? This creative industry, you know, the thing is, it all depends on what you do. For example, you want to create, start an advertisement agency and uh, you want to just pitch and make a lot of uh, ads, ad films and uh, creatives to, to, to promote a brand or something. The investment is not that huge. You can even start with lesser investment or very, very little investment as well. You should start marketing your company. You should have a nice client servicing person who could talk to clients and get, get various orders and projects. And you know, and then the client, if they're impressed, they'll pump in money and you should manage your financial expenditures and all, all these things. And you can, you can make some money out of it. And one more thing is that people uh, ask me assistant director job and stuff and all. How it works, I'll tell you, okay, if you want to learn filmmaking, work in 
a production company work in a movie which has got all departments in it learn this straight learn learn when you when you work as an assistant director the practical knowledge when you get you will understand how this is working and then we can we can move further you know we can really develop contacts and make something quick and also there is a saying you no know, uh, a clear reje- rejection is better than a fake promise that won't happen here a lot of people give you fake promise and will waste your time always have two three options you know not uh, just follow one person alone in this industry just try to approach a lot of people do do nice research about the market okay just do not uh, hesitate to spend more time to do do research and try to understand the market try to understand the potential and then uh, you, you 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 plan your business when you start a business you should ensure that the business that you do has got some kind of relevance with you as a person likewise i'm good in art i'm good in cartooning i'm good in film making i'm starting a production company that kind of a relevance should should be there everybody will be loving something just do a business that has got some kind of an association with what you love and it will work out for sure a lot of people think i want to become a young director it's okay to become an be an young director but you should have a lot of real life resemblances towards the movie that you want to be making you can't write a hypothetical thesis on something right you're writing a story indulged emotionally you should see something uh, a love film only when you really have only when you have experienced this love and all this heartbreak you'll be able to do the movie and you should you'll be able to give some kind of a soul to to it all right if you try to make an action film or something like that most of the action film directors are intense people it comes easy for them silvester stallone making rocky because there is some kind of relevance between him and also the movies that he wanted to make so create that can understand what kind of movie you want to make you can learn film making it's very easy but Uh, what you what type of movie you're going to be making is very important most people doesn't have the clarity here if you take mari silvraja he is doing films on casteism and stuff and all because he has got some kind of a traces of those things in his own life itself that is making his job more easy that is very important understand the kind of movie that you want to make and make it if you wanted to make a fantasy film or epic larger than life film like avatar or something like that you should know animation you know you can't really put huge huge you can't really spend spend huge amounts of money to build sets instead you can do matte painting in photoshop and you can project that you can do some 3d characters in a very less minimal budget and you can juxtapose everything all these frames and create a nice environment okay, you can't just just like the depend on a visual effects supervisor some basic knowledge about visual effects is very important so i strongly suggest a lot of filmmakers to understand at least how a basic animation and visual effects work even even if they're not making a movie that is having time limits visual effects also it's good to understand how it works you can cut down a lot of budget visual effects is invented to cut down budget right so you should understand various possibilities where you you can easily you know get your visuals right using this computer effects and animation technology that's very important so that is something which i strongly suggest all these things will help you in one way or the other when you try to make a movie